and now we wait and see if we can succeed? I feel like we're not gonna succeed. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. Now a lot of you guys have been asking what happened to Battle Cats because I'm not making episodes in this series nearly as frequently as I used to and the reason for that is because I mainly want to make every episode important. You know, I don't want to just sit down and play the game every week on a certain day and grind out an episode just because I have to. I want there to be something interesting to hook into the episode. And for today's episode, that main hook is going to be the crazed axe. I haven't gotten nearly as many crazed cats as I want to. And apparently, this one is the most difficult stage with the least useless cat as a reward. So, thanks for that, Battle Cats. In the last episode, we ended off by unlocking Thundia, a new Uber, and I do want to level her up at some point, I do want to give her a try, but it's like I said, I really need more boots with paws on the ground. You know, I need more spammable cats, those Swiss Army Knife cats that you can use in any situation, because I have so many Ubers that are just 5k and 6k, and you can send them out at once every few minutes, and I, I have that kind of echelon of the cat army filled pretty well, but I need more base level cats. So the first one that I've used a bunch of experience evolving is Unmyoji Cat, exorcist who time traveled from the past, always trying to purge sports scars of evil, sometimes weakens non-metal enemies. Okay, so it sometimes weakens everything he evolved into. <laughs> Magica Cat, who is <laughs> absolutely adorable. We need more cats in pudgy little dresses, just I love it. Magical Girl by Alien Contract. The shiny staff came as a signing bonus. Sometimes weakens non-mental enemies. Okay, so still sometimes, but the true form evolution gives us Thaumaturge Cat. The contract has been fulfilled. Ultimate power is within her grasp, but now she just works as a theme park villain. 100% weakens non-metal. So that is gonna be huge. The fact that I have a cat that's under 500, you can spam them, get them out there, a decent range, they'll weaken everything that you're against, gonna come in very handy. And the other cat that I've heavily invested in is Pogo Cat. Sucked into the recent trend of toys, still looks pretty fun, cheap to produce, but might survive being broken. Okay, so he might survive a lethal attack. He evolved into Messiah Cat, volunteered overseas and experienced cultural exchange. Tacoma costume, cheap to produce, might survive a lethal strike. So again, it's a meat shield that might survive a lethal attack. But finally, it evolves into Jianchi Cat, horror movie maniac. <laughs> or real g -g -g ghost Mystic Seal is just this month's gas bill. Cheap to produce, 100% survives once. So I think it costs a couple hundred to make, and more importantly, it will always survive a lethal attack. When you have your meat shield out there and it gets one-shotted no matter how strong it is, this counting is two meat shields is pretty sweet. So we have Gianchi, we have Thaumaturge, and we have a bunch of anti-red, because I've been told that the crazed cat has a bunch of red meat shields that really get in the way. And then we have Shishalan and Crazed Bahamut as the big finishers, because they should be able to finish off any solo boss by themselves, I hope. I really hope. I've been losing so much in recent episodes that just jumping into something like this, oh, it makes me weary. I'm gonna try this without Rich Cat or Sniper or anything like that for the first try. I'm just gonna spam a bunch of crazed and hold him back. Hopefully save up. No meat shields yet. Maybe my intel was wrong. Okay, we have a single seal and I kind of want to push them back a little bit. Please don't get any closer. I'm saving up a whole bunch of money and I think I want to get Bahamut out there and start meat shielding a little bit better. Jiangxi is already doing a pretty good job. I think Apple would be really good out. Okay, yep, yep, here's the red. Here comes the red. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, everything is under control. Don't worry, yep, Apple is doing a great job freezing anything. You can hear all the Jiangxi's dying, but that's perfectly okay. We are so close to my base right now. <laughs> this was a mistake, Shishalai and help. Shishalai just blow stuff up. You could do it. You got this. Uh, this is going really well. They're not hitting Bahamut at all, and we're keeping them fairly well frozen. We're even killing the meat shields. This is exactly what I wanted. So we're holding them at parity on the razor's edge of losing. 
perfectly fine. We're just gonna keep building up this thick stack of Parises. We're gonna get another Shishalan now any second. Come on, second Shishalan. I don't know if we've even hit the boss yet, to be perfectly honest. Yes, never mind. We've hit him. Definitely hit him there. <laughs> the meat shields are just so in the way. Okay, let's get these stupid rabbits out of here. I want to get as much damage in on this stupid axe as I can. Oh my god, this takes a long time. Guys, he's alone. He's alone. Hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, we're getting direct spirit bomb hits from Bahamut. But I feel like there's no way I can lose this. I don't think I shouldn't be saying stuff like that because every time I do say stuff like that, I lose, but <laughs> they just haven't hit any of my big damage dealers, which is beautiful. Oh, 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 okay, they hit Bahamut, but he's dead. Yes. Oh, that feels good. First try, didn't use any upgrades really, and I only needed one Uber. How do you feel about that? Oh, yes. Let me caress your base with my giant creepy cat hands. <laughs> I feel like Thaumaturge is gonna make a huge difference versus the Cyclones, right? Because even here, he was pretty useful and he could only weaken the meat shield. You can't actually weaken Crazed Cat because he's not a specific type, but the Cyclones are a certain type. So being able to weaken the boss with the spammable cat seems super useful. So it looks like Crazed Axe is, well, pretty much what we would expect. The same as regular Axe, except a little bit crazier. Combat Maniac, strong against red enemies. Crazier version increases attack power. So I don't know if it's faster like the other crazed cats, but it's still kind of useless. I'm happy to have it anyway. Don't get me wrong. It's like a trophy. You got to collect them all. <laughs> but moving on, I kind of want to try Technorosis because this is new and I've never heard of it. Nuts and bolts. What are you willing to bet there's going to be metal enemies? I need to switch my loadout a little bit. My anti-metal loadout is kind of underwhelming, but I don't think that's avoidable. It feels like there aren't that many anti-metal cats in the game. Like, most cats affect everything but metal, like Thaumaturge. But I've brought all the same meat shields. We have Miss Moneco, Catasaurus, Island Cat, and Berserker because they all do critical hits. I have Michelangelo because he affects metal units by pushing them back. And then Crazed Bahamut in case we get surprised, because I honestly don't have anything else. I get the feeling this is going to be really... Actually, I don't know. What was the difficulty? Insane. Yeah, I might be able to handle it. Sure, why not? I'll give it a try once again without any upgrades. And if I get my ass handed to me, then we'll, we'll toss on some upgrades, consumables, whatever you want to call them. Hello? I don't know why... Oh, tits. Oh, triple tits. What is this? This is not what I signed up for at all. Okay, no, we gotta get that anti-metal loadout going right now. Everybody to the forefront. <laughs> this is what we like to call a mistake. I just don't like metal stages because it relies on you getting lucky. Why did I just send out to reform Bahamut? He doesn't do anything, but you need to get critical hits and critical hits involve your luck. We just got two critical hits. I am fine with another critical hit. What is happening right now? Oh no, that's Michelangelo Cat pushing him back. Oh my god, Michelangelo Cat is the super secret tech against this. If we could just push him back the entire way and kill the base with True Form Bahamut. Is this actually gonna work? It feels like it's gonna work. I'm not really doing anything spectacular right now. Yes. Oh, no, we can't push him behind the base. What is this? He doesn't go any further back. Oh, that is bogus. My super secret tech has been... Oh. Okay, then. Turns out I was more than prepared. I guess the cyclone couldn't handle that wicked underboob and G-string that Michelangelo is rocking. <laughs> I keep filling up my energy when I haven't used any energy yet. <laughs> Did not expect this at all. Ooh, special stage. Space is the place. Oh, uh, do I want to face that? Is that good? Okay, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I didn't earn any reward, so what do I have to lose, right? Hello? I don't know where I am. I don't know what space is the place means. Aliens. Great. That's just great. Maybe we could just save up for true form Bahamut. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan for this level. They are not gonna let me do that. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to send out a mismatch of cats and pray 
Oh, guys, come on. Come on, fire the cat cannon, please, please kill something. Oh, 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 we're so close to Bahama. Go, Bahama, no! I needed like a hundred to send a Bahamut. Oh, and there's no continues. Damn it. Oh, that is depressing. Cause I actually think we could have plowed through there. So I can technically do it again. Would it bring me to the special stage that comes next again? I have no idea. Maybe we'll bring an anti-alien or two? So Island Cat could technically do critical hits, but for 1200 and it being a pretty big mite, I feel like it's not all that important to getting through the metal part, so I've replaced him with Seafarer. I know, not that big of a difference. Both cats stuck at sea, but it should help. And I think I'm gonna get rid of... Oh, uh, maybe Miss Moneco is just she just one little cat and she has the cooldown of an Uber. I feel like Marin Mizu would be a lot more helpful. Especially against a bunch of quick coming aliens. Yeah, I think that's alright. I think Michelangelo is all I need for the middle stage. I don't know about this. We'll, we'll give it a try. Screw it. I've already won so much this episode and gotten so much energy back that. Why not just give it a shot? Technorosis, nuts and bolts, bring it on. So there is no reward for actually beating this other than moving on to a stage that you're not prepared for. Again, thanks, Battle Cats. Come on, yes, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say, we have them cornered. We have them up against the boards. We're working them with all of our abilities. Now, onto the alien part of this. If it sends me on to like an angel part or a black part or another stage, I'm gonna be Pretty best. 15,000 experience and it does send us to space is the place once again. I should check what the reward for this is. I might be doing this for no freaking reason. Ooh. Okay, if we beat this, we get an epic cat fruit. That is definitely worth it. I need more epic cat fruit to evolve all of the cats. I have many cats that need evolving. So you're gonna send out aliens and I'm gonna counteract that with Marin Mizu, I think. Yeah, I think we can uh, delay for just a little bit, guys. Just hold them off. Marimizu is gonna make a big difference. I get the feeling if this thing hits my base at all, I'm gonna die. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's not get greedy again, shall we? Potentially a controversial decision, but I think I'm gonna sacrifice these cats and let them push forward to my base because there has to be a boss. There's no way it's this easy. There was a cyclone in the last stage. There's probably a cyclone in this stage. So that Marimizu can just hold them off for a long freaking time. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Okay, then you guys are gonna move forward a little bit. We're gonna send out another Marin Mizu. I'm not gonna send out True Form Bahamut because I feel like he's just gonna get one-shotted by that moth again. Maybe I could send out Berserker? Yeah, you know what? Critical damage is good against everything. I feel like that's probably fine. We're maxed out. It's dead. Okay, so True Form Bahamut go. And now we wait and see if we can succeed. I feel like we're not gonna succeed. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, come on! You're supposed to then let me succeed so I can feel good about myself, not just send out everything. I have so many useless cats that don't do anything in this stage. I'm so boned. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know, is doing a pretty good job pushing everything back, including the cyclone. I just feel like that one cat can't last me forever, right? Bahamut was supposed to be the one to save me here. Would absolutely love to get true form Bahamut out there right now if you could maybe kill something, something worth a little bit of money. Oh, everything keeps just surviving lethal strikes. So much of my loadout survives lethal strikes, which is a good thing because there are a whole lot of lethal strikes going around right now, come on. Come on, yes, Bahamut, please, please kill something. Please, no, no. Yeah, we're done. Is there any way I could have beaten this? Boss was at 83%. I mean, I have the aliens to beat this. If it was a regular stage, if all I had to do was face off against this stage, then I could beat it no problem because I have a ton of anti-alien, but I can't bring all of my anti-metal and all of my anti-alien at the same time. Ah, uh, I, I really want to try again. True Form Bahamut was completely useless, right? If I replace him with an anti-alien, if we replace maybe one more cat with an anti-alien, maybe... 
I think it has to be Dark Merchant Babel, because we have Seafarer, we have Miramizu, we have White Rabbit. They're not doing a lot of damage, they're slowing, they're pushing back, they're freezing, they're doing everything else, but a lot of damage. Dark Merchant Babel needs to be the one to really get a punch in. Then we have Berserker Cat, Michelangelo, and Catasaurus for the metal stage, which is getting easier and easier, I feel like. It's not too bad. And then only three meat shields? Ah... Uh... Yeah, that, that's probably fine. Okay, so far no surprises. Everything is going according to plan, same as last time. So he's stuck in the corners. We got him pinned up against the boards. He's bouncing around from both Michelangelo and the sniper, which is proving to be incredibly useful right now. We got another Berserker in there. If he can just land one big hit again, just one smack right in that robotic eye, then we might be done here. Oh, there we go. We got it, okay. So, we got through this again, except I have way more anti-alien again. <laughs> it's gonna get to the point where I'm gonna have to try this level with nothing but anti-alien. It's just, it's ridiculous. I don't necessarily feel ready for this, but I don't get much say in the matter now, do I? So we're gonna fire a Zikat cannon. We got double Marin Mizu pushing stuff back to make it so that he misses. That's a little disappointing. Guys, can we work in tandem here? This is for all the cat food. The whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, we're slowing stuff, we're freezing stuff, we're pushing stuff back, we're damaging stuff, everything is fine. I've come to realize when editing these videos that I say everything is fine quite a bit, and it's mostly to comfort myself, because everything isn't fine. Everything is the opposite of fine. <laughs> we are constantly on the razor's edge of losing everything. But at the same time, we are kind of holding them. Oh, and Dark Merchant Babel hits like a brick house. That was huge. He hits everything. And, and, and he gets hit. I don't want him to get hit. We almost got another white rabbit out there. And they're not pushing forward. Yeah, okay, another white rabbit. There we go. Where's the cat cannon? Just keep them pushed back. Maybe get another third Marin Mizu out there. That'd be pretty decent. Come on, okay. If you can kill something for me right now, Doc Merchant, then maybe I can get more Ubers, more Ubers. Yep, there we go, okay, third. Ah, okay, Dark Merchant is down, but he got us three Marin Mizus. That feels really good. Those Marin Mizus managed to delay for quite a long time, but they're not immortal, so a lot of them are gone now, but we have another Dark Merchant who is focusing on the meat shields. As always, stop being distracted by the crocodiles, dude. I really need you to hit the big thing. I, I don't even know what he's hitting right now. It feels like he's just missing. He's just hitting air and he's dead. Why? <laughs> this is so tits. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, come on, 11%. Oh, man. If I try this one more time, and I replace one more metal cat with one more anti-alien cat, like maybe Kachi Kachi, would that do it? Oh, I, I have to try. This is gonna be the longest Battle Cats episode ever. Super debatable move, but I've replaced Catasaurus with the Kachi Kachi Mobile because I've noticed that every time Berserker Cat dies, the Cyclone moves up and it just tears through the Catasauruses. So I have to have Michelangelo. It's the only way that I'm not letting that thing just wipe through my base. And I feel like I have to have Berserker. And everything else seems really important. So Catasaurus is getting cut and just pray that I can actually get through this. Maybe I'll use some consumables. If it's gonna be a difficult entry level stage, screw it. Yeah, let's use you and you. Yeah, that sounds all right. You get back in your corner, Mr. Cyclone, and you think about what you've done, like wasting the last 10 minutes of my life. Why will you not die? <laughs> I didn't realize Catasaurus was making that big of a difference, but I still feel like it was the proper decision because I don't think I can lose this. I just can't win this until I get lucky. Here we go. Berserkers moving in for a strike. Lethal strike. Yes. There we go. Big crit. Lethal strike. And we're moving forward. So now we have everything we had last time plus the Kachi Kachi Mobile, which should hopefully make a huge difference. Lowering damage, I think, is the only thing that we didn't have, right? We have slow, we have freeze, we have pushback, we have damage. Now we just have weakening. I, I, I can't bring anything else with me. This is as good as it's gonna get. We got them to 11%. I can do this.
Huh. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm also off to a better start this time. I didn't have to wait nearly as long to get Dark Merchant Babel out there. So we almost have another 5,000. I think I want the Kachi Kachi Mobile out there first, maybe? Over White Rabbit? Or we could just have both. Why not both? Dark Merchant Babel would prefer both. <laughs> he has a lot of friends that he wants to bring up. So we have everything out. All of the anti-alien crew are here. I wouldn't mind upgrading my cat a little bit. All right, we'll do that. Okay, six, seven, eight. We're done. We're done. Everything is out. I'm gonna send Berserker. Screw it. You know what? Critical hits are good against everything. Now, uh, no, no. Get your little glowy finger out of here, young man. Please, please do some work, guys. Okay, we're slowing. We're pushing back. We are reducing damage. We are dealing damage. We're doing everything that you could do in this game to these stupid aliens. This is the best I can do. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? The guy in the chair is the biggest issue. It's not even the stupid cyclone because when the guy in the chair connects, he wipes out everything. And then I just, I have everything on cooldown and Miramizu will survive sometimes because she has alien resistance, but it just doesn't matter. I did worse this time. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm done. Screw your cat fruit. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And it would have been so much better to finish this with a nice juicy epic cat fruit in my hands. But I guess I'll just have to take the silver trophy of crazed axe cat. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.